Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Bilal Khan and in this video I am going to be working on the, uh, some of the other functionalities of the Git. So the first functionality that I will be working on is Git branch. So let's write this Git branch in the terminal and if I enter, press enter into it, as you can see that uh, here is only one branch present. So it was created by default when I made this file in the previous video. So you can create multiple branches also for um, performing multiple functionalities. So uh, just, you just need to remember one thing that git is uh, git branch will divide the code into multiple sections. So for, uh, let's say um, uh, there are a lot of developers working on one project. So if some, uh, one developer is working on some of the feature and another developer is working on some bugs to be fixed, so these, uh, these developers will uh, need to make uh, different branches for performing their functionalities. So uh, in this way, the master branch will not be affected because if some master branch contains the data which uh, the maintainer don't want to uh, uh, add or remove something from it, then uh, the another branch should be created so that a master branch will, uh, should not be affected. So in this way, the git branch uh, came, into, uh, came into the picture. So first of all, I will make a, br a git branch here and the branch name would be temp. It could be a temporary, or ju I just uh, wrote temp. So let's uh, write git branch again. And then, as you can see, that uh, two branches are present now. The first one is master, as it was uh, in the uh, above. And the second branch, which I created uh, right now, is temporary. So uh, as you can see, that uh, there is a red color in the master branch. So I j it's, it is showing that it, uh, the current branch uh, master is uh, currently active. So I want to transfer to the um, temporary branch. So for this I will write git checkout temp. All right. So as you can see that the, I switched from the master branch to the temporary branch. So now if I made some changes into the uh, temporary branch, the master branch will not be affected. So let's write, uh, let's uh, create some file. So I, I will write touch. Touch will be used for creating files. So I will write the touch and then uh, the com file name would be one, all right? As you can see that the file is created and its name is one. Now I will add into the uh, staging area and then I will write git commit m with a message called m, uh, with a message is one, all right? So now it is added into the staging area and it is uh, also uh, uh, committed into the git. So let's add another file. Uh, called touch2 and then add it into the staging area and then write git touch3 and then give it a comment called 3. All right. So now as you can see that all the, the um, see all the colors has been removed from this file because uh, these files are included into the git commit. So if I write git uh, status there is nothing to be committed in this temporary branch. As you can see that I am currently on the branch temp, so there is nothing to be committed. So one thing I want to show you is git log. As you can see that uh, currently I am uh, in the temporary branch, but uh, uh, here is the master branch, and three commits were uh, done uh, right now. All right? uh, and the three commits were added into the uh, temporary branch, but in the master branch, uh, the previous comment were, uh, as you can see, that is showing here. So the, uh, the thing that I want to show you is that I want to, let's say I want to add uh, all the commits. I want to merge all the commits into a single commit. How can I do it? So for this uh, purpose, I need, uh, there are two ways. So first way is to uh, write git reset. So basically, git reset, I, I have told you in the previous video also that uh, git reset will um, add all the commits into the unstaging area. So let's say I, uh, um, I take this uh, hash value uh, from the commit, any of the commit, I could take uh, this hash value or I could take this hash value, any hash value that you want. So I will take this hash value and then uh, all the commits that are above this hash value will be um, will move into the unstaged area. So uh, this way you can uh, use the uh, use the command use, uh, git reset and add this uh, com hash value in, uh, here, and then all the commits that are present in the temporary branch will be added into the uh, unstaged area. And then if you add that into the staging area again, it will be counted as one. 
all right so after that you will commit the, those changes into the git but those changes will be considered as one but uh, this is one uh, this is one uh, way to uh, add the commits merge commits into one commit but i want to show you another way and that is uh, let's clear the uh, let's write git rebase i and i for interactive environment and then i will simply uh, copy this uh, hash value and paste it copy and paste it here all right so let's print it as you can see that another file is open and all the instructions are commented but there are three instructions that are, are not committed yet so basically it is showing the file one it is for showing the file two it is showing the file three and it has a unique values all right it has unique values that are attached to each file all right so after that you can see that uh, each of the file contain pick 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 so what does it mean so pick will actually merge a commit into itself all right so let's say how can it merge a commit into itself so let's say uh, i write s so it will squash s means squash so it will uh, the squash commit me uh, it was uh, it is replaced into squash because i added s into it so the squash commit will be picked up by this first one above all right so if i want to add this uh, this commit also into the uh, first one then i will have to write s here so basically it will uh, these two files will uh, be squashed into the uh, first commit all right so these branches will be merged into the first one so i modified this file and let's uh, print, uh, let's um, press the key uh, control o and then press enter all right so as you can see that row 29 lines so all the files were added again with modification all right so this change these changes are committed and then if i write, uh, press control x for exit then it will move into the another video another sorry another file uh, saying that please enter the commit message for your changes so i will uh, i need to add a commit message also uh, I, the code is committed but uh, for one commit I need to add just one uh, message so there as you can see there uh, here are three messages appeared but I need to delete all of them and here I will uh, give a commit commits are merged this is the message that I will be printing into the uh, commit so again press control o for writing and press enter as you can see uh, row 22 lines all the files were added all the lines were added with modification and then uh, press control x for exit so now it is successfully rebased and updated all right so now let's clear this and uh, write git log so as you can see that all the commits that were previously added like commit uh, commit 1 commit 2 commit 3 are merged into a single commit so here is a temporary branch in which all the commits were you know, merged into a single commit. So here is a, here is a master branch uh, which I'm not uh, uh, which I uh, which I'm not moved in. So I will uh, I will say that uh, first um, I showed you that how you can use git rebase uh, to merge all the commits into a single commit. But here is a problem that if I uh, if I write git checkout master then as you can uh, as you can see that all the uh, all the files are uh, gone because the master is uh, the master was present as it was before so all the changes were made in the temporary branch so i need to merge this temporary branch into the master branch just uh, uh, just the same that i uh, commit uh, merge all the commits into a single commit so i will do the same process here to commit this branch into a master branch to, uh, and there, those files will be appeared in the master branch all right so to do this I will simply write um, let's clear this and write get merge and then after merging it I will write uh, temp this will be a branch name all right so as you can see that all the files are included in the master branch so if I write git branch as you can see I am in the master branch and uh, the temporary branch is not I'm not in the temporary branch uh, yet so these are the changes that are uh, that are now included in the master branch so after doing this I'm uh, I don't need a temporary branch so I will um, simply delete it by using git 
a branch a D for deleting and then the branch name all right deleted branch temp all right so let's uh, uh, write another uh, let's, let's write git branch so as you can see right now that uh, the master branch is only present the temp uh, temporary branch has gone so all the changes that I committed into the master branch are now uh, present in uh, uh, all the changes that I committed in the temporary branch are now present in the master branch so again if I write git log so as you can see that uh, this commit is also included in the master branch uh, previously it was uh, included in the uh, temporary branch but now the temporary branch has been deleted so this commit is included into the master branch all right so these are the things that I want to show you that I, 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 I desire to show you so the first thing you learned is about git branch how you can create it how you can go from one branch to another branch using git checkout and then I use the git rebase command to merge one commit into another to merge to merge all the commits into a single commit so and then after that um, I used the git merge uh, command that will um, merge a branch into a master branch so in these are three three of the commits uh, that you need uh, that you should learn because it will be uh, helpful to uh, to contribute to the code if you are contributing to some uh, someone else's code then it will be really helpful for you to contribute so i hope you will uh, understand what uh, what i did in this video so please like this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel uh, I'll, uh, and if you have any questions then uh, please ask uh, all the questions in the comment section below i'll be answering all of your questions so till then, goodbye.